Okay, so unapologetically African pretty much just encompasses the pride of the continent that we're born in. I think most times as Africans we've been taught that every other narrative is the correct one except the African narrative. I got tired of Africa's story being told from a narrative other than Africa's narrative. So it's unfortunate that because probably of issues to do with colonialism, we found other continents to be superior than ours. But when you look at the richness of the culture, the heritage on the African continent, we're not even going to the natural resources, but just everything about Africa is actually, we also have a place in the world. So my decision to study with ALU was based on the fact that I wanted to learn about Africa from an African perspective and on the African continent. I think the fact that everyone else is looking at Africa should actually cause us as Africans to stop and question what is it that they're seeing about Africa that we're not. If you look at most of these big corporates like the big tech companies, they all come and recruit talent from Africa. So what is it about Africa that they're looking at? Is it our diligence? Is it our ability to deliver what we are told to deliver? Is it our innovativeness? Is it our creativeness? The challenge with the younger people now, they have grown up in an era of social media. There are a lot of things that shape opinions, that shape narratives. So for example, you go to Silicon Valley, there are a lot of companies uh, that handle big data, for example. So it's nothing new. It's just maybe they improve how they do it, the speed at how they execute it. The chances of making a difference are better and bigger on this continent, as opposed to London, because there's nothing new. Once your value system is anchored, and this is shown in what we are taught, the, the V3 leadership model, which the ALU MBA is based upon, there is vision, there is virtue, there is value. So everything about what we are taught on this MBA is actually meant to shape that value system. The footprints of what I'm going to live on this earth by the time I depart is based and centered around evident. And when I say evident, I mean there has to be tangible things. When I walk out of this MBA, there has to be an evident change. There has to be evident growth. And when I speak about impact, if I have a conversation with you, there has to be an impact that I live within you. Like, I have to leave a footprint of something good. I have to impact you in a good way. And when I speak of legacy, I'm now speaking about the next generation. What am I doing now that the next generation is going to benefit from?